Well, covering our Alec Murdoch murder trial coverage now, the prosecution has wrapped up their closing arguments in the trial against Alec Murdoch. The lead prosecutor, Creighton Waters, painted a picture of the night Murdoch's wife and son were killed and why he believes Murdoch was behind it. But we still have to hear from the defense who's expected to begin their closing arguments tomorrow morning. So for much more on the defense's closing arguments that will begin again tomorrow morning, we now want to bring in one of the most prominent defense attorneys in South Carolina. This is Jack Swirling. So Mr. Swirling, thank you so much for joining us here this evening. First off, I want to ask you your impressions of the closing arguments from the prosecution today by lead prosecutor Creighton Waters. Well, I think I really do think he did a good job. I mean, he weaved everything together. Uh, he brought out all the issues that I think he needed to present to the jury from the prosecution standpoint. And I think at the end, he just uh, tied it all uh, neatly together so that the jury would uh, hear succinctly what the state's position was. So uh, it's very, very difficult to go ahead and discuss five weeks of six, almost six weeks of trial uh, and wrap it up into a a two hour closing argument, but I think he did a, a pretty good job. And you know the defense team probably better than anybody else in this state between Jeff, Jim Griffin and Dick Hartputlian. What should we expect from them tomorrow morning and what perspectives of the trial do you think that they will focus in on for their closing argument? Well, Jim uh, is, he's gonna be doing the closing argument and he has a lot of technical skills. And so as a result of that, uh, I think you'll see some PowerPoints like you saw today with Creighton Waters, uh, where he's going to have up on the screen a number of bullet points that he wants to discuss and wants to get the jury to focus in on. You know, the thing that they're going to have to discuss tomorrow is really uh, whatever issues they've raised about reasonable doubt with the timeline. I think that's their biggest hurdle. A timeline is pretty tight. Uh, but they have really focused on that when they've been presenting their defense. So they're going to have to point all that out. And I think one of the other strengths in their case is that there was no blood uh, on uh, Mr. Murdaugh when, uh, at that, that evening when everybody came. And so you have to believe that he was able to go ahead and wipe the blood off, uh, shower, clean his clothes or get rid of his clothes, and then uh, present himself to the sled agents and all the people that came over. So these are the things that I think are going to be uh, emphasized tomorrow. And I, I have to ask you, you were kind enough to let us borrow a lot of your time before the trial, and you had said and predicted that you thought it was going to be a hung jury. Are you still standing by that prediction? Yeah, and let me tell you why, because I think that there's so many diverse issues in this case, uh, so many issues that the prosecution's raised and so many issues of reasonable doubt that the defense has raised. For example, the motive. I, I didn't in no way buy that the motive in this case was financial, uh, to go ahead and deflect uh, from his financial troubles or uh, you know what was going on. And I, I just don't buy that as being a motive. Of course, you don't have to prove motive in a murder case. Uh, so as Creighton kept pointing out, it was opportunity, inclination. Uh, these are the factors that you know he has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. So uh, I think it's gonna be very difficult for a jury of 12 which eventually will deliberate on the case, uh, for them to come to a unanimous verdict uh, for guilt or uh, not guilty, uh, because there's just so many different diverse uh, issues in the case that both sides have presented. Okay, Mr. Swirling, thank you so much for joining us. Again, we'll see the defense begin their closing arguments tomorrow morning. Thank you. Yeah, w watch. I think it'll be good.